Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. On our top story, we have NVIDIA as the worst performer of SP500, Korean exchange up its indictment, and Bitcoin's $4,000 surge. Stay tuned for more. I'm your host, Sun, and this is your Token Post Daily News Briefing. With the daunting crypto bear market, it is no news that traders and miners are suffering. For NVIDIA, one of the largest GPU producers, the situation is worse. It's been reported that following the crypto boom, the market value of NVIDIA grew just from $14 billion to $175 billion. However, according to CNBC report, NVIDIA was listed as the worst performer among S&P 500 following the price drop of 54%. Being one of the largest producers of GPU cards with the decreasing profitability of miners, the demand for NVIDIA's product were bound to drop as well. However, NVIDIA is not the only one suffering from the aftermath of crypto hangover. Cointelegraph has reported that Advanced Microsystem or AMD has also experienced a 45% drop over the same period, while the PHLX Semiconductor Index has dropped over 20%. I can't say when the price of crypto would surge back up or not, however, one thing for sure is that this bear market has left quite a large hangover through the tech industry. Last Thursday, a surprising news came across our newsroom saying that the executives of Upbit were being indicted for fraud. The Prosecutor's Office of Southern District of Seoul has announced that it has indicted three senior members of Upbit, which included Song Chi Hyung, the founder himself. According to Token Post News, the party was suspected of making fraudulent transactions within their platform during September and December last year. Using corporate accounts, the executives were accused of filing fake orders in the amount worth of $226 billion. Not only that, the executives were also charged of selling approximately 11,000 bitcoins through rigged transactions. Right after the announcement, the exchange denied the allegation, stating that while the company did use the corporate account to provide liquidity, they have neither benefited nor traded the assets themselves. The exchange further went on to claim that their corporate transactions only took 3% among the overall traded volume, which resulted to minor effect at the time. With source and shields flying across the battlefield of Upbit, only time will tell on who's right or wrong. When it comes to trading, it is critical that one study value metrics and strategies to minimize the risk of losing money. But when it comes to trading, what do you consider as the most valuable indicator? The price? The moving average? An interesting poll was taken at Coindesk Markets asking what indicator traders value most. And as it turns out, crypto traders consider trade volumes as the most valuable indicator along with RSI and moving average as second and third. For those of you who are unfamiliar, trade volumes indicate the total quantity of shares and contracts traded for a given time. So, for instance, if a downtrending market combines with a decreasing volume, it usually indicates that the market has exhausted, suggesting a rebound in the coming time. However, despite its merits, the volumes themselves cannot be fully trusted as they can be under the influence of something called a wash trading. As reported previously on Token Post Daily News, even the best exchanges boost their trade volumes to a huge amount to attract customers, which is why majority of chartists advise not to rely on sole indicator. Rather, it is crucial that traders combine the merits of other indicators to resort to a wiser decision when engaging in trading. On Sunday, December 23rd, Bitcoin finally recovered from $3,000 mark to push over the $4,000 barrier. Currently being traded at $4,200, the price of Bitcoin went up more than 40% over the past week. Following this trend, it is being seen that major cryptocurrencies such as Ripple and Ether are also on the rise to delight customers during the holiday season. According to CoinMarketCap, among the top 20 cryptocurrencies, only Tether was experiencing a bit of a slow start opening the week with a 0.65% decrease in price. However, with the average price increase of 6.9%, it seems not only children but also traders are given the blessings of Santa during Christmas. With Joseph Rubin, the CEO of Consensus, calling for the crypto bottom of 2018, would we be able to regain crypto's post-glory? Let us hope for the best. 
we bring the latest news to you. That was Token Post Daily News Briefing. I'm your host, Hun. Merry Christmas to all our viewers, and thank you for watching.